yeah, 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 Hi guys, it's your girl Zen. I'm from Salat Farah Nur. Did I go to God? Got to start Salman and yeah, so so not quite. So today I'm gonna be talking to you guys a little bit about my um spoken word poetry rap, whatever you guys wanna call it, and how I sort of got into it. So um I started writing writing officially um at about year seven um so. I sort of got into it in the sense that I don't know I used to write poems and stuff in school and I realized that I was actually good at it you know so I started to um, further it as like an actual thing where I start like I just started doing it for fun you know at first I had to do it because you know class you know you have to do the work you know but then after a while it got fun so I was like you know I might as well try this out and then what happened was when I was in year seven one of my friends was like yo um, she opened up the science textbook and she was like you know if you're so good and you figure all that um, write a song about like the the topic was about sunrise. I don't know why the topic was sunrise. It was so weird. But anyway, she's like me write rap about the sunrise. I did. I'm not gonna share it with you guys because I don't want my career to go downhill before it goes uphill. So I'm not gonna. Nah, that's not coming out. Um, but yeah. So I sort of got into writing then, and then I got really confident. I was like, oh shit! I was like, you know, I can do this. You know, I'm a like I'm a rapper. You know, I'm a I'm an artist now. So I started writing songs about my class. I started writing other songs which no one needs to know about. But I couldn't sing. So I started writing like raps and then songs as well, but I couldn't sing, so those sort of were kept in like a, a secret folder in all my like laptops and stuff. So my family, if you're watching this, don't touch my laptop. Nah, if I, I'm smart, you know, I entitled it something else, so they wouldn't want to look into it. Like, who wants to read? Mm, see, I need to expose myself there. You gotta be smart about these things. Anyways, yeah, but so I sort of got into rap through that, and then um, what sort of helped me even more was at school, like I used to do performances in front of the assembly and stuff like that. So that sort of gave me the confidence and sort of helped me build a uh, rapport. So I think they sort of gave me the confidence to keep doing it as a thing, and yeah, well, like that's, that's just how it all began. Um, oh, yeah, um. There's something I was going to tell you guys about. Something I want to share with you guys. I want to share a little, little, small, little secret with you guys. I don't think my own family knows this, but anyways, when I was in, when I used to write um songs and stuff, I used to, <laughs> I used to think I was cool. I used to think like they were so good. You know, as I told you guys, I can't sing. So I was like, um, I found all these um, like obviously there was artists back then that were famous. So I wanted to become famous through you know the artists because I personally couldn't sing. So what I did was on Facebook, I added all these artists and I used to email them be like hi message them like hi this is my song can you listen to it can you can you oh can you sing it for me don't worry about the credits and stuff you know it's right the wrong length and this is the sad thing about all of this is I had like 15 Selena Gomez's as friends 15 Miley Cyrus's as friends because I didn't know which one was which like obviously the stars don't have Facebook like they nobody knows what their Facebooks are you know so I had I was, I was dumb. I was, I was dumb. I used to message them and be like, yo, can you do this for me? Nobody replied to me because obviously who don't listen to me? <laughs> and yeah, like, I just got L's then. I was like, actually, I was tired of myself. But yeah, so that that's sort of what I used to do with it. Um, now what I do is obviously I study and stuff. So I don't focus on my poetry and rap as much. But I do do pieces like if you give me like a topic to write about and stuff. Why do I like um poetry and rap? So um, unlike, you know, the normal English like stories and um, essays and stuff, you know, I don't like like the structure, the, the punctuation, the grammar and stuff like that. I don't like that style, it sort of doesn't fit with me, whereas I like the fact that rap, you know, I, um, I get to select the rhythm, I get to select the beat and I get to select like the style of the rap and I feel as though I connect more with the rap and uh, the poetry forms rather than the actual, um, like the standard structure of the English like stories and stuff like that so that's why I choose um, poetry and raps to sort of express myself yeah so now I'm gonna be sharing a spoken word with you guys which I have written it's called um, Oh Muhammad I hope you guys enjoy it <coughs> Bismillah <coughs> um, okay Oh Muhammad they say beauty is fini yet yours still shines long after you've departed you're the most loved of creation and the most kind-hearted. I want you to know that I have received your message complete. I thank you for bringing it forth to me. I thank you for fighting and ensuring that Islam overthrew disbelief. I apologize. I apologize for your pain and grief. 
your struggles have opened doors for me that did not exist you did not give up you continue to persist to ensure that the message of Islam reached me here in one piece and for that I am forever grateful but oh Muhammad if only you were still here to lead the way, if only you could still tell us it'll all be okay. See, even though you've left us your sunnah, some of us don't understand, but maybe if they witness your beauty and kindness, they would see and comprehend why you are the greatest of man tasked with the mission of spreading Allah's kalam. See, it's hard. It's hard trying to keep on the deen when the whole world thinks we're the enemy. They give us theirs, call us names, and if anything goes wrong, we're the first to be blamed. See, the war, the war is all around. One moment you turn to escape a fire, only to see it come ablaze from the ground. I'm fighting two battles, and the greater ones on the inside, a battle of tug between my nafs and my mind. I try my best to pull to the better side, but shaitan keeps whispering his lies. At times like this we look desperately for inspiration, a light and a guide But what inspiration is greater than your story and life You've endured the most difficult of hardships so surely so could I I'll try my best to keep my head held high Keep my prayers straight and always pray on time Keep Allah in my heart, keep Allah in my mind Never forgetting his mercy, never forgetting his might O oh, Muhammad if only you knew of the love I have for your character and lessons, I send my salams to you every time your name is mentioned, O Muhammad. I love you today and I'll love you tomorrow, but I wish, I wish I could love you as much as you love our Ummah. You've sacrificed so much for me and my fellow sisters and brothers. You've taught us to love, be kind to and to care for one another, O Muhammad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not thanking you often. I'm sorry that some of your teachings have been distorted or forgotten. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your aching feet while you stood in prayer asking for our forgiveness. I'm sorry people did not heed your message. I'm sorry they did not listen. I'm sorry we, your Ummah, failed to stay on the path and have fortitude. And most of all, I'm sorry for all my apologies, but it's all I have to show you gratitude. I thank you. I thank you for teaching us that to Allah we should only turn. I thank you for teaching us that this world is temporary and not our home. I thank you for teaching us to be kind and just and I thank you in advance for your intercession on the day when all will reject us. I thank you. Words aren't enough to express all my feelings and thoughts. But O oh Muhammad, I send my salams to you until the day we meet in the courts of the esteemed. That's the end of that video. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Share it out, share it out. I can't speak into English. Well, <laughs> see, well, like, that's, that's a struggle for me. But like, share it around. Tell your hoyo, tell your abba, tell your habri, tell your edo, tell your awo, tell everybody that you know. This video wa it's khatar, you know. But now that's the end of that. Wa how I a rap, you know. So don't forget about the applause. Don't forget about the claps. It's done. It's a rap. You know, it's like. Nah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.